You don't do that shit. Fuck wrong with you. Gay ass bitch. 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 I was born of heterosexual parents. I was taught by heterosexual teachers in a fiercely heterosexual society with television ads and newspaper ads. Fiercely heterosexual. A society that puts down homosexuality. And why am I homosexual if I'm affected by role models? I should have been a heterosexual. And no offense meant, but if teachers are going to affect you as role models, there'd be a lot of nuns running around the streets today. This is the body of Supervisor Harvey Milk as it was taken from City Hall. Witnesses say after killing the mayor, White ran down the hall and fired three shots at Milk, killing him. We blog. We gossip. We share porn. We are media. We are thirst trap boys. An aunt and her five-year-old nephew are going viral and unfortunately it's not about anything positive. A Los Angeles resident named Christina Mann was watching her five-year-old nephew and all was going well until he participated in the Savage TikTok Challenge. Christina smacked the hell out of this five-year-old child and then proceeded to yell homophobic slurs. Now, notice how she didn't smack the holiness out of that little girl. If that dance makes him gay, then it must make that little girl a hoe, right? Just ignorant as fuck. Now, after the backlash, she went on IG and posted the following. First of all, get off my story because I didn't even hit my nephew hard. I don't care what y'all talking about. He not finna be on no gay shit around me and that's that. Child, I just cannot. She continued by saying, Y'all act like I damn near tied up my young nigga up and whooped his ass like, damn, I can't pop the nigga and call him a gay bitch. That's way better than what his daddy would do. Uh. <sighs> now, you guys, um, TTB has reached out to the boy's mother and um, <clears throat> she said that the person who did this to her son is her sister. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh because it's not funny but it's just crazy how it's her sister it's her blood sister there's um four of them in total the mom's name is Sandy um, but it's Sandy has um, three sisters Jasmine, Tina, and Jenny now Tina is short for Christina that's the sister that did this now um, Sandy has said that um, they called the cops and they sat outside of her sister's apartment all night. Um, Sandy and her gay best friend. Because Sandy has a black gay best friend. He's the one who reported this information. Um, and that um, they were waiting and waiting. And she never returned home. And the cops are looking for her. Hopefully she will turn herself in. And the mom is set to go live on, um, on Facebook with her child to explain more about this situation. It's going viral everywhere. It has like over 6 million views on um, Twitter and millions of views on Facebook. It's truly, a truly, truly, truly tragic story. And, you know, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I don't think any kid should be doing that challenge because that's a grown person challenge. However, you know, TikTok is a, um, a kid platform, really. So... I can understand why kids are doing that challenge. It's up to the parents to say, listen, no, that's too adult for you. And it's up to um, it's up to people to come up with better challenge challenges that everybody can do. Like, why, why does it have to be sexual? Like, I just don't understand. Now, this kid isn't the only one um, going viral for this challenge. This other kid is going viral. However, his mother said, you know, she doesn't really give a fuck. He's just a TikTok kid. It doesn't even matter, so. But, yes, let this be a lesson to you homophobic-ass parents. A dance is not going to make your child gay. He probably didn't even know what the fuck he was doing wrong, you know. Now, every time he dances, he's going to be, like, really weary about what the fuck he's doing. And it shouldn't have to be this way. This is why black men in America walk around so angry all the time. Because as a kid, they were not able to express themselves. 
You have to do better. Well, up, you guys, that is the latest breaking news. Now they got two little nice statues in Charity Square Park to remember the gay movement. How many people have died for these two little statues to be put in the park to recognize gay people? How many years has it taken the people to realize that we're all brothers and sisters and human beings and the human race? I mean, how many years does it take people to see that? And we're all in this rat race together. This is the memorial that the street people laid down where they laid Marsha's body. She wasn't floating flat, she was floating down, feet down, and coming up and down. And she had a hole in her head. And so somebody ran to call the cops. I could see it. I could see the hole. I remember the thing that you said in the car When I was too drunk to get home from the bar You looked at me and said you don't know how special you are